That's why we've been on the low for so long. That's why we've been a pushing the ghetto for so long. Getting yep. screwed every which way of so Cause, long. Cause I, chiefly, the, the bulk of our people are wicked as hell, man. That's right. And they deserve to be uh, relegated to that. But the there's problem. also in the prophecy, prophecy said Coming that we were going, a, 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 a small elect group of our people were going to wake up to who they really are, man. And we were told to come out here on the highways and the byways in the chief places of concourse and prophesy. And prophesy what? Prophesy that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans really do have a heritage and this is what it is according to biblical archaeology and in historical facts and prophecy and that all these other nations fit into these pieces all right yeah, and we found out too that yes the, this this nation america is in the bible man but it's talked about in cold everything in the bible is talked about in cold there, there, there's no so it doesn't say world war three in the bible it doesn't say america and china and russia in the bible it's cold it's cold talk okay you, the, the bulk in general, so-called white people come from the nation of Edom. Well, there's specific prophecies set against Edom. It said that Edom would rule the world in the end days with the sword. That's right. With the sword, he was going to rule the world. And, there, and he was going to have the fatness of the land. And we're seeing that. And he and Esau is ruling the world with the sword. In the book of Obadiah, it tells you that he's going, his emblem was going to be the eagle. He was going to set his nest among the stars with uh, space programs and everything like that. But all the nations that were conglomerate with him that he felt like that he had with him were going to come against him right all right and we're seeing the vestiges of that right. all right all the, the the nato which is the beast system talked about in the bible is going to set itself over in the valley of jehoshaphat or uh, armageddon what you know that in the area of the middle east that's where world war three was going to start but it was going to end in what the scriptures call a fire not blown why is it called a fire not blown because what do you have to do to a flame you got to blow on Thermonuclear fire doesn't need to be blown. It's nuclear fission and fusion. That's what's set to consume America and different places across the world, man. And then a new governance, then a new governance is gonna rise up on Earth. The whole world is not gonna be destroyed in some random sci-fi movie. No, it's gonna be a huge destruction on the world. This world system is gonna collapse, and out of the ashes of that will rise a righteous king. All right, which the leaders of that righteous kingdom, whether you believe it or not, are going to be the 12 tribes of Israel, who mostly are consist of the uh, North, Central, South American Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but are scattered all across the four corners of the world. Israelites are from every are in, within every nation, man. but the bulk of our people, according to prophecy, are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, now, well, actually. It's going to descend from the heavens, and he's going to come from the east on a horse. That's how the world's going to horse? end. Horse? Oh, on a horse? Is it going to be on like an actual horse? It's actually in the Bible. It's going to be like an actual hey, horse? Y'all keep quoting. Yeah, yeah, it's it's symbolic. It's symbolic. It's symbolic. Y'all right. keep quoting right. scriptures. You're not verses. Using the whole right, but, but you don't know what you're talking about. Hey, be quiet. He's not going to use it come out the so. sky. Tell your woman rim. to shut up. Hey, hey you don't talk about that. Listen, man. Listen. You keep ain't no horse coming out the sky, man. And ain't, ain't no horse coming out the sky, man. That's he's right. coming. He's gonna come back in chariots, man. Now That's that right. is gonna happen. The Lord is gonna come back. The Lord, the Lord is gonna come back and hit. The Lord and the angels gonna come back in their chariots, man. The horse is right. Hey, hey, hey. Let me let me explain. The horses represent a vessel of strength and power. So is heaven symbolic? Is hell symbolic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're in hell, man. The hell is a state of death. The hell, hell is a state of of. A perpetual death, man. That's America, man. That's that's all the world encapsulated under wickedness. Man. That's right. I so that's why in Revelation the twentieth chapter. That's why in Revelation the twentieth chapter it says, "And death and hell shall be cast into the lake of fire." That's how you know that hell is not the lake of fire. So it's not going to be cast. Into hell. So hell is going to be cast into hell. No, that's not what that's not what the scriptures are talking about. You don't man. know nothing. You gotta be able to put the precepts. You gotta put that's why the scripture says precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, here a little, there a little. That's how that's when you be able to put all the pieces together and understand what the scriptures are saying. So Revelation 21 and 1. Go ahead. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Uh -huh. The first heaven and the first earth were passed away. Yeah, so all right, so so the, the, the heaven and heaven and earth up in the fourth dimension and the fourth dimensional realm where God is is gonna just pass away. That's not what that's talking about, man. So it's you can understand talk. this? Like, you can do, wrap do you, your mind you, around do you, this? Do you understand that? Did then you, he says he revealed it to secrets and to the servants of prophets. prophets. Right. That's right? in the Bible. Right. Now, let me give you, uh, 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 let's get mad, because it ain't given.
it to everybody. It ain't give it, it, ain't give it to Matthew everybody. 13. Yeah, let's get Matthew 13 and 9 real quick. Matthew 13 and 9, because you got to be able to put the whole thing together. The whole thing. The whole thing has to come together. That's why all these mythological and pagan ideologies that have been, and dogma that's been incorporated with the scripture, that's going to be destroyed too, man. When, the, when it's talking about in Revelation, the 16th chapter, that false prophet, that's that whole Roman Catholic uh, ideological system that's been, that's basically pushed dogma into the scriptures, man. There ain't no such thing as no Tartarus mythological hell where, 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 where a devil in a red suit's going to stab you for eternity. That's, that's, a, that, that's a myth, man. That's a myth. That's right, I can't. So, ain't gonna be no little babies with, with flapping wings coming around uh, with a heart. Naked babies floating around. And, that's a myth. That's right, I can't. It's a myth. So is this like is this like a bitterness that's and a grudge on what happened in the past? The Lord has bitterness and a grudge on the earth. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord has a bitterness and a grudge against the earth. That's why the scripture said that the Lord has a controversy. That's right. Yes, with the whole earth. Okay. Yes. It's not just white people. Though. That's right. No, that's just that's one that's one group. You just mad because we we called you out. You mad because we called you out. Yeah, that's right. You mad because we called your yeah. group out. And the Go ahead. The Matthew. Yes, chapter. white people are gonna get judgment within the whole of judgment. That's right. right. That's Matthew right. said he made his only begotten son. Who hath ears? Let him hear. Save the earth. <laughs> when the you, disciples came and said unto him, son, give me, give me, uh, "Why speak you send your son?" Would you send your, your son? Your and son? he answered oh, and said unto them, "Would you because send your son?" Because it is given unto you to hey. know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. It's given unto to you to know the mysteries. Would you send your son to die for everybody else? Would you send your son to die for me? Read it again. Right. He answered and said unto them, "No, you have no. Because it is given unto them. Hey man, respect the." Bible, hey, hey, be quiet. Hey, hey, hold I am. I'm standing up for my religion. Man. John, I'm standing up for my John, Lord. John, go ahead. This is what the Lord got to say. Read. John, I chapter 17, says, verse 9. Saying. Go ahead. I pray for I them. Go ahead. I pray not for the world. So read it again. Like I pray for them. Uh-huh. I pray not for the world. Go ahead. But for them which thou hast given me. Yo, go to John uh, uh, 15 and 14. John, you, you told you chose the Lord. Oh yeah. Go ahead. No, Chapter man. 15, verse 14. Go ahead. <laughs> you are my friends. Uh -huh. If you do, if you do whatsoever I command you. 15 and 16. I'm sorry. Yeah, 15 and 16. Read it. You have you have not chosen me. Read it again. But I have chosen you. Go ahead. And ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit. Start it over. You said you chose the Lord. <laughs> Read it again. John 15 and 16. Go ahead. You have not chosen me. Go ahead. But I have chosen you. That's why you don't know the word of the Heavenly Father because he has not chosen you. Read. All right. Start up at the top. Matthew 13 and 13 9. 9. This is what the Lord Who have said. ears to hear, let him hear. Go ahead. And the disciples came and said unto him, mm -hmm. Why speakest thou unto them in parable? Uh -huh. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead. But unto them it is not given. It ain't given. Read. For whosoever hath to him shall be given. It's been given to us. That's why we can go in and out all the books and get the knowledge, man. Because the most high has his spirit on us to understand the word in completeness. Right. Read. And he shall have more abundance. Go ahead. But whoever have not, from him shall be taken away. That's why even that he That's why you don't understand the scriptures, man. That's why all you got is dogma. All you got is dogma. I want Matthew 10 and 34. Yeah, where was the love for the Egyptians when the Lord destroyed Egypt? Boy, he love everybody. He can uh, deliver his Saint people. John, right, right. Saint John, Saint John four in twenty two. Y'all gonna y'all gonna keep playing with the Lord, man. Y'all think, the, playing with think the, Lord? the Lord is playing games with you people, man. The Lord ain't playing games. He said not to tempt him, and that's exactly what y'all are doing. Playing games okay. with you people. That's, that's right, right. Yeah. Saint John four twenty two. Ye worship, you know not what. You don't know what you worship, man. You don't even know his name. Read. We know what we worship. Uh huh. For salvation is. Jews. The salvation of right. Jews, Israel, the nation, the true nation of Israel, not them imposters over in the land. But the scripture said they'd be over in the land until the Most High removes them. All right? This is a spiritual battle going on, baby. Go ahead. It's the book of St. Matthew, chapter 10, verse 34. Let's see if he wants everybody to come together. Read. Speak not that I have come to send peace on the earth. Read. I am came not to came to send peace, uh -huh. but a sword. The Lord came to send right. a sword, baby. Yeah, that's what's coming. Give me. Yeah, because you just you just said why? Because it's a spiritual battle. All right, let's go. That's right. Go ahead. And it's gonna 
gonna culminate. It's gonna culminate. Why do y'all get mad when it's when you talk about it? Hey, hey, hey. He made he made a statement. He made he made a statement. Let's go to first Thessalonians 2. I mean, you just got to do what you said. He made a statement because he don't know the scriptures. That's why he keep making them statements. They keep putting his foot in the mouth. I don't know the scriptures, but you have an argument about it. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. And this is the Lord speaking. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's who he sent to, man. Because our people are scattered. That's because we was that's why he's going across the whole world to save people across the whole world. Because the nation of Israel was scattered amongst all nations. See, this is the confusion that they want to bring in the Bible, man. This is the confusion that, 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 the, that the Most High forgot his people, that, that the New Testament is against the Old Testament, when it's all one. It's all one linked idea, man, and it flows, and it does not contradict. It does not, it want, they want you to think it contradicts to create gray. Because when you create gray, you create confusion. When you create confusion, you create disorder. When you create disorder, you create wickedness. That's right. And that's why this world has been sent into confusion. That's why this place is Babylon. When you look up the word Babylon, it comes from the word Babal, which means what? Confusion. This place is, has been set in confusion, man. Right. Because the Most High don't want everybody to get it. He only wants a small elect group to get it get it because this thing is for a few not many it's not for everybody it's not for everybody okay that's why we don't care about everybody's feelings why are they feelings hurt because ultimately they're against the word of the heavenly father right. they're right. against right. justice right. all right they're against balance they're against peace they're against equity they're against true love true love mm -hmm. all right read matthew chapter 1 verse 21 Go ahead. and she shall bring forth the son and thou shalt call his name Jesus, mm -hmm. for he shall save his people. He shall save his people from their sins. What does the word sins. Jesus mean? What? What does the word Jesus mean? You don't it's know Heavenly Father. Father. What is the What is the word Jesus? Do you know what your love is? Do What is the word Jesus? Mean? It specifically says in the Bible that what does it keeps no right of wrongdoing. Jesus mean? Which is exactly you what you all are doing. Question, man. What is the word Jesus? You came up here trying to defend the gospel, but you. Answer the question. What does Jesus mean? Come on, man. If you don't want to answer the question, you can leave. But I'm asking. Or, or, or you what can say, I don't What does Jesus mean? Man, just say so you don't know. There's yeah, some things might. I don't know. He's an right. eat a It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Be honest. Be honest. Yeah. Yeah. So you but I'll read love for you if you want to read it. So you don't yeah. know? Because okay. we can tell okay. you if you don't know. Tell me. Let's okay, the answer. word Jesus ah. means. I want to hear y'all's answer. It's a savior. You need to hear our answer. He's a savior. Who is the savior for? His people. Who is his people? The Israelites. Well, why don't y'all believe that? All right. Uh, what, say, okay, here's people. We got. Then he All said, right. What if you don't believe that? No, I said, why don't y'all believe that? Why won't believe? Well, because we we do believe that. That's what we're reading about. Give me um. We all worshiping the devil. Read? Thessalonians. <laughs> Thessalonians two. Let's see here. His, mind, his black, mind, black mind is so is so low. My mind is low. Clear. So, you need Bro, to stop how many scriptures? Stop eating McDonald's, man. I don't need McDonald's. We literally just we just gave you very sound doctrine. Look, everything we said, we backed it up thoroughly with the scriptures. Yeah, makes complete sense. Yeah. Very easy to understand. Yeah, you gotta keep up. If you're of this world. No, if you, because yeah. you are of this world, bro. Because you don't you understand yeah. that the world agrees with your doctrine? Y'all don't have The say. world agrees with your doctrine, yeah. not ours. Why That's so the same angry? slave master doctrine that was. No, I'm talking left. <laughs> no, but, okay, can I answer your That's question? That's not love. Can That's I answer not your, Can I answer your question? Yes, please. All right, sister, I'm going to answer your question. Please do. Isaiah 58 and 1. I don't Isaiah. believe in the Bible, though. So okay. Can you Isaiah, you Isaiah, me with Isaiah. Isaiah. I'm telling you according to what we believe. Okay, Isaiah 58 and 1. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. We're more powerful than all of them. loud. See, they're not listening to the scripture when it come out. That's right, Akia. They don't want to hear that scripture. They want their own vain opinion to prevail. That's can you right. go to a scripture for me? No. No? Isaiah 58 and 1. Read. Uh, cry aloud. Uh, uh, cry aloud. You guys aren't even representing Bear God because Bear God. Bear you don't believe in God. Read. Read. I definitely Read. believe in God. Like I don't believe in the Bible. Love There's a difference. God is love. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Spare not. Spare not. You guys are so angry. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people that transgression. And show my people that transgression. Read. And the house of Jacob. 
Jacob there's sin. In the house of Jacob there's sin. Read it again. It's so much. Cry loud. Cry loud. 